Brzeg is a town in southwestern Poland with 36,381 inhabitants as of 2016, and the capital of Brzeg County. It is situated in Silesia in the Opole Voivodeship on the left bank of the Oder River. The town of Brzeg was first mentioned as a trading and fishing settlement in the year 1234. In 1248, Duke Henry III the White granted the settlement town rights and by the late 13th century the city became fortified. During the interwar period, Brzeg, often referred to as the Garden's Town, was considered one of the most beautiful locations on the Oder River. Its size greatly expanded after the construction of dwelling houses which were located on the city outskirts. Towards the end of World War II, in February 1945, the Soviet army captured Brzeg, which resulted in a moderate destruction of the town's buildings and infrastructure. In accordance with the Yalta and Potsdam agreements, the area was annexed by Poland. Subsequently, the town's German population was deported and replaced with Polish settlers from the eastern borderlands and central Poland. Since 1950, the reconstructed town has been part of the Opola Voivodeship. Etymology Brzeg was in earlier documents referred to as Civitas Alpa Ripe, meaning city at high banks of the Oder River. Its name is derived from the Polish word Brzeg, meaning shore. The historian Konstanty Darmot, 1841-1895, in his book of etymology of Silesian localities, states that in a Latin document from 1234, the settlement's name was Wysoki Breg, Polish Wysoki Brzeg, meaning city at high banks. History Prehistory The locality in and around present-day Brzeg has been settled by people since the Mesolithic era, with the earliest signs of settlement between 8,000 and 4,200 before Christ, as concluded from archaeological findings in Schmilbusch, Kościerzyce, Lubsza and Lipki. The early human populace left behind traces of lithic flakes, flint flakes and other flint-related tools. The earliest signs of agriculture come around during the Neolithic era. 4,200 to 1700 before Christ. The, un the Neolithic culture developed agriculture and dom domesticated farm animals. This lifestyle led nomadic cultures to settle in the locality. The era saw the development of weaving, pottery and mining in the Brzeg Plain, with archaeological findings in Brzeg, Buszyce, Prendocin, Lewimbrzeski, Małujowice, Lipki, Myśliborze, Mąkoszyce and Oburki. The time period of 1300 to 700 BC bears the existence of the Lusitanian culture of the Late Bronze Age and the Early Iron Age. The culture settled in the region and in large continued to develop agriculture and the domestication of farm animals. The natural economy of the culture was based on weaving, pottery and metalworks. The Lusitanian culture's populace that inhabited the Brzeg lands was identified by archaeological excavations, revealing 17 individual localities, including three hamlets and eight burial sites, namely a 45 fortified wooden settlement in Rybna and an open pit crematory in Pisarzowice with 30 discovered burial sites. To follow the Lusitanian culture, which witnessed its declension around 500 BC, were the Celts, around 400 to 300 BC in Silesia, as identified with archaeological findings in Lupsha and Pawów located in the eastern vicinity of Brzeg. Around 100 BC, the peoples of Silesia began trading with the Roman Empire, as evidenced through the findings of Roman currency in the locality. 
in the 7th century Slavic peoples started settling in the region. At the time, iron tools and blacksmith based hamlets found in Kantorowice and Pempice are evidenced for the first time in this region. Silesian period and foundation. The ages of 500 to 1000 AD saw the establishment of the early feudal system in Silesia. The era was characteristic of the establishment of god settlements, grud, towns and the continued development of trading crafts. It is believed the permanent populace around modern-day Brzeg was set up by Silesian tribes. The first mention of the Silesian tribes is made in the mid-9th century document known as the Bavarian Geographer, which included the Silesian god of Vrychen, located 8.3 kilometers northwest of Brzeg, in the eastern Oava county. The Rychen gods became the main line of defense for the Silesians, namely to protect the river trade routes along the river Oder and the land trade route between Rychen, the locality's administrative center, home to the Kastelan, Kastelan in Polish, and Brzeg, being some 10 kilometers in length. The importance of the Rychen gods is demonstrated by Henry V of the Holy Roman Empire's army halting their advancement before the gods in 1109. Between the 9th and early 10th century, the Brzeg lands, together with that of Silesia, were part of the Kingdom of Great Moravia until its demise in 906 AD, after which, until 990, the region was under the rule of the Przemyślites. Around the year 990, Silesia was annexed into Mieszka I Poland. During the fragmentation of Poland, 1138 to around 1314, the area of the Brzeg lands, together with Silesia, came under the control of King of Poland, Bolesław III Rymaw's oldest son, Władysław II the Exile. The most favourable area for the settlement of Brzeg is located between the castle square, Plac Zamkowy, with elevated ground extending southeast towards the square of the American Polonia, Plac Polonia Amerykańskiej, before the town's foundation, three separate settlements existed in its modern-day territory, with Wysoki Brzeg, Alta Ripa, bearing the main administrative role in the region. Between the late 12th and early 13th century, the Dukes of Wrocław set up the Curia, led by a Klavinger. In 1235, Henry the Bearded occupied the area around Oava, by which the Walloons had to turn over a tribute of one scale of grain and of oil to the settlement of Brzeg, suggesting the existence of a granary and other, bu other buildings in the curious established headquarters. Some 200 meters southwest from the Curia was the former location on what was later to be called Mary's Hill, Guria Mari. The Romanesque St. Mary's Church, Kościół Najwyższej Marii Panny, during the Reformation, the church was deconstructed and its brickwood, brickwork used for the construction of the town's fortifications. A chronicle from the 16th century states it was the first church. However, no more is known about the holy site. Historians believe the founder of the church may have been Bolesław I the Tall or Henry the Bearded. Around the peripheries of the settlement, was the location of several hospital buildings. Towards the route to Wrocław in the town's west was the location of the Hospital of the Holy Ghost, Świętego Ducha, used for both to cure the town dwellers and as an inn for travelers along the Wrocław Opole route. The town of Brzeg was located in the middle of, with an average walking distance between each town taking one day. The area around the Holy Ghost Hospital present-day Moniuszko Square, Plac Moniuszki, was the location of a major market, positioned by the crossroads of the Wrocław Nysa route, east of the Wrocławska Gate. By the end of the 13th century, the Duke of Brzeg possessed ten shambles. The market is believed to be characteristic of other Silesian towns, 
commonly selling agricultural produce, namely bread, meat and shoes. Prior to the locality receiving its town charter, town charter in 1248 or 1250, the settlement had characteristics of a town and not of an ordinary, ordinary fishing village, being referred to as civitas in an early Latin document, as exemplified by the existence of a curia, church and a major market, allowing the settlement to develop through the exchange of produce and barter. Prior to Brzeg receiving its town, char town charter, the Duke of Wrocław, Henry III the White, received the settlement of Małkowice, present-day Kempa Młyńska, in exchange of his feudal rights over Zembice, southwest of Awawa. The fishermen living in the Małkowice, present-day Ulica Rybacka, Rybacka Road, in accordance to ancient Polish law were charged with the task of protecting the ducal castle along the riverside. By the turn of the 13th century, the defenceless populace living in the pastures of the Brzeg Plain began to relocate into the fortified Wysoki Brzeg, Wysoki Brzeg, or Alta Ripa, in Latin, building up a new or Shedle around the present-day streets of Ulica Łokietka, Piastowska, and Szerkotwitz extending in the southeast direction. The Oshedle, or Bora, was documented as Stary Brzeg, Antica Brega, Alt Brieg, to be renamed Wierz Brzeska, around 1329, and Villa Bregensis, in around 1339. To the west of the 45th center of Brzeg, the settlement of Rataya, a separate village until 1975, as the former's village's etymology suggests, centered around the upkeep of the ducal pastures. Middle Ages and the Early Modern Period The town received German town law in 1250 from the Wrocław Duke Henry III the White. The foundation was carried out by the three locators, Gerginus of Koldberg, Orlief, and Heinrich of Heirenbach. From the emblem of the Heinrich of Heirenbach, the town was also, also got its coat of arms. While in power, Henry III granted the town, by a singular payment, the forest around the locality of Lubsha. His successor, Henrik IV of the Righteous, regulated the town's church affairs, as well as renouncing his patronage over St. Mary's Church. Kościół Świętej Marii Panny, located west of the town's western boundary. The church was granted to the Order of St. John, subsequently founding the Church of St. Nicholas in 1292. The town was fortified, fortified in 1297. From 1311 to 1675, Brzeg was the capital of a lower Silesian duchy, Duchy of Brzeg ruled by the Piast dynasty, a branch of the Dukes of Lower Silesia, one of whom built a castle in 1341. The duchy became part of the Kingdom of Bohemia in 1329. The town was burned by Hussites in 1428 and soon afterwards rebuilt. In 1595, Brieg was again fortified by Joachim Frederick of Brieg and Legnitz. Brzeg and Legnica. In the Thirty Years' War, it suffered greatly. In the War of the Ocean Succession, it was heavily bombarded by the Prussian forces, and in 1807, it was captured by Napoleon's army. When Bohemia fell to the Habsburg monarchy of Austria in 1526, the town fell under the overlordship of the Habsburgs in the roles of kings of Bohemia, although it was still ruled locally by the Silesian Piasts. Upon the extinction of the last duke, George William of Legnitz in 1675, Brieg, came under the direct rule of the Habsburgs. Late, modern and contemporary. In 1537, the Duke Frederick II of Legnitz concluded a treaty with the elector Joachim II of Brandenburg, whereby the Hohenzollerns of Brandenburg would inherit the duchy upon the extinction of the Silesian Piasts. On the death 
of George William de Lasduc in 1675, however, Austria refused to acknowledge the validity of the treaty and annexed the duchies, and Frederick the Great of the King of Prussia used this treaty to justify his claim at the invasion of Silesia during the War of the Ocean Succession in 1740. Brieg and most of Silesia were annexed by Prussia in 1741 during the First Silesian War. In 1807, the town's fortifications were pulled down by Napoleon's army. The Prussian province of Silesia and thus Brieg consequently became part of the German Empire when it was proclaimed in 1871 on the unification of Germany. During World War II, 60% of Brieg was destroyed and many of the town's inhabitants died during the severe winter of 1944. 45, as they fled from the advancing Red Army. In its entire history, the war had brought the most severe destruction to the town. Some of the town's population were evacuated by the German army who moved its population further west into Germany for safety and declared the Brieg, Festung Brieg, Fortification Brieg. After the fall of the town to the Soviets, the remaining German population were later subject to harassment and expulsion. After the war, the Potsdam Conference placed Silesia and thus the town on the Polish administration. Consequently, Brzeg and Lower Silesia were repopulated by Polish, whom Soviets expelled from eastern part of pre-war Poland. Traditional Garrison Town From the late 19th century, the dead end German town of Brzeg had expanded into a traditional military garrison town. From 1897 until 1919, it was the hometown base to Infantry Regiment No. 157, designated from 1902 the 4th Silesian Infantry Regiment No. 157 of the Royal Prussian Army and respectively the Imperial German Army. In 1914, under the regiment's last peacetime commander, Lieutenant General Paul Tide, the regiment began mobilizing for the Western Front at the outbreak of World War I as part of the 6th Army Corps, 12th Division, 78th Infantry Brigade. At the end of World War I, the garrison barracks at Prieg remained for some years after without a stationed military regiment. The Imperial German Army Air Arm, Military Aerodrome, found in nearby Gruningen, was furthermore dismantled and destroyed as part of the Treaty of Versailles. It was not until the 4th of August 1930 that the 5th Squadron of Cavalry Regiment No. 8 of the German Reichswehr arrived in Brieg from Breslau Karlowitz. Other cavalry squadrons from Miltisch and Owels followed shortly after. This resulted in the garrison's tight barracks, located in Moltke, Sedan, Ron, and Bismarckstrasse, requiring some alterations to accommodate the new arrival of horse cavalry red residents. It was from Brieg Garrison, the German cavalry captain, Konrad Freiherr von Fangelheim, became famous for securing gold medal win at the 1936 Summer Olympics in Berlin for the German equestrian team while suffering with a broken collarbone. In 1933, an airfield located in nearby Hermdorf was also new built and thereby a much larger military aerodrome established. The new aerodrome was occupied by Flight Reconnaissance Group 113. Soldiers and officers of all ranks from the garrison have fought in all theatres of war on land, at sea, and in air, in, and, and in air, during World War I and World War II. A return home to the, to the garrison town was bestowed to very few men for short periods. Most never saw their old home garrison town again. Countless soldiers from Brieg garrison were killed in action or wounded and thousands shared the same fate as others as displayed persons. History of the Jewish Population as the town was situated on the commercial route to Wrocław, Wrocław, in which a colony of Jews had long resided, Jews settled there about 1324. The Jewish community of Brieg had its separate place of worship from early times. In 1358, 
Jews lent money to local noblemen and the Duke of Brieg, Ludwig I, who granted the Jews freedom of movement in the duchy in that year. In the 14th century, the Jews of Brieg were persecuted on account of their Assyrian practices. One outbreak of such violence occurred in 1362. In 1392, it was claimed that all debts of the Duke had been discharged by the payments to a Jew of Brieg, Jacob, the son of Moses, of a certificate of indebtedness. In 1398, the Brieg Jews bought a letter of protection from the Duke, whereby they were granted the peaceful possession of their privileges. But in 1401, they were driven from the city, except Jacob and Seman von Reichenbach who had received a patent of protection from the Duke's council for six years from May 1st, 1399. In 1423, Duke Ludwig II granted the Jews rights of residence on payment on an annual tax of 20 gulden, but they were expelled from the duchies of Brieg and Legnitz in 1453 as a result of the inflammatory preachings of the Franciscan John Caspar Capistrano. Solomon, a capitalist, lent large sums of money to royal houses in the 15th century. In the 16th century, one of the local Jews served as a physician to the Duke of Brieg. With the decline of Breslau as a trade center, the Jews of Brieg became little more than an isolated community. In modern times, they shared the lot of the other Silesian Jews. They carried on insignificant trade operations as a rule. The conquest of Silesia by Frederick the Great brought but slight change in their condition. A synagogue was built in Brieg in 1799, and a rabbi was first appointed in 1816. The Jewish population numbered 156 in 1785, 376 in 1843, 282 in 1913, 255 in 1933, and 123 in 1939. In the Kristallnacht programs of 1938, the interior of the synagogue was complete, completely demolished and the Torah scrolls publicly burned. Numerous shops were ransacked. The community was not re-established after the Holocaust. Audio recorded on the 24th of August 2017 by Olivier Brzezinski. Username Arbustum. A. R. B. U. S. T. U. M. Thank you for listening.